Pittman shorthand is a system of shorthand for the English language developed by Englishman Sir Isaac Pittman 1813 who first presented it in 1837. Like most systems of shorthand, it is a phonetic system, the symbols do not represent letters, but rather sounds, and words are, for the most part, written as they are spoken. As of 1996, Pittman shorthand was the most popular shorthand system used in the United Kingdom and the second most popular in the United States. One characteristic feature of Pittman shorthand is that unvoiced and voiced pairs of sounds such as p and b or t and d are represented by strokes which differ only in thickness, the thin stroke representing light sounds such as p and t, the thick stroke representing heavy sounds such as b and d. Doing this requires a writing instrument responsive to the user's drawing pressure. Specialist fountain pens with fine, flexible nibs were originally used, but pencils are now more commonly used. Pittman shorthand uses straight strokes and quarter-circle strokes, in various orientations, to represent consonant sounds. The predominant way of indicating vowels is to use light or heavy dots, dashes, or other special marks drawn close to the consonant. Vowels are drawn before the stroke or over a horizontal stroke if the vowel is pronounced before the consonant and after the stroke or under a horizontal stroke if pronounced after the consonant. Each vowel, whether indicated by a dot for a short vowel or by a dash for a longer, more drawn-out vowel, has its own position relative to its adjacent stroke, beginning, middle, or end to indicate different vowel sounds in an unambiguous system. However, to increase writing speed, rules of vowel indication exist whereby the consonant stroke is raised, kept on the line, or lowered to match whether the first vowel of the word is written at the beginning, middle, or end of a consonant stroke—without actually writing the vowel. This is often enough to distinguish words with similar consonant patterns. Another method of vowel indication is to choose from among a selection of different strokes for the same consonant. For example, the sound R has two kinds of strokes, round, or straight line, depending on whether there is a vowel sound before or after the R. There have been several versions of Pittman's shorthand since 1837. The original Pittman's shorthand had an alphabet of consonants, which was later modified. Additional modifications and rules were added to successive versions. Pittman New Era 1922 had the most developed set of rules and abbreviation lists. Pittman 2000 1975 present introduced some simplifications and drastically reduced the list of abbreviations to reduce the memory load, officially reduced to a list of 144 short forms. The later versions dropped certain symbols and introduced other simplifications to earlier versions. For example, strokes R -E -R", heavy curved downstroke and quay", hooked horizontal straight stroke are present in Pittman. S new era, but not in Pittman. S two thousand. Topic History. Topic Pittman was asked to create a shorthand system of his own in eighteen thirty seven. He had used Samuel Taylor's system for seven years, but his symbols bear greater similarity to the older Byram system. The first phonetician to invent a system of shorthand, Pittman used similar looking symbols for phonetically related sounds. He was the first to use thickness of a stroke to indicate voicing. Voiced consonants such as b and d are written with heavier lines than unvoiced ones such as p and t, and consonants with similar place of articulation were oriented in similar directions, with straight lines for plosives and arcs for fricatives. For example, the dental and alveolar consonants are upright. Topic T Topic D Topic S Topic Z Topic Theta as in thigh Topic as in thy Pittman S. Brother Benjamin Pittman settled in Cincinnati, Ohio, in the United States and introduced Pittman's system there. He used it in the 1865-67 trial of the conspirators behind the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. In Australia the system was introduced by another Pittman brother, Jacob. Jacob Pittman is buried in Sydney's Rookwood Necropolis, in Australia. The epitaph is written phonetically. 
In Luvingmemerov Jacob Pittman, born November 28, 1810 Trowbridge, England, Setelld in Adelaide 1838 Dade 12 March 1890 Arkitektintrodiustfonetik Shorthand and was the first minister in these Kolonizov the Doktrinzov the Sekondor New Christian Church which Aknolejez the Lord Jesus Christ in his Devinhiumaniti as the Kreaterov the Yunivers the Redeemer and Rejenerateerov men God over Owl Blesed forever. At one time, Pittman was the most commonly used shorthand system in the entire English-speaking world. Part of its popularity was due to the fact that it was the first subject taught by correspondence course. Today in many regions, especially the US, it has been superseded by Greg Shorthand, developed by John Robert Gregg. T-line has become more common in recent years, as it is based on spelling, rather than pronunciation. Writing like Greg Shorthand, Pittman Shorthand is phonetic, with the exception of abbreviated shapes called logograms, words are written exactly as they are pronounced. There are 24 consonants that can be represented in Pittman's Shorthand, 12 vowels and 4 diphthongs. The consonants are indicated by strokes, the vowels by interposed dots. Topic. Logograms short forms. Topic. Common words are represented by special outlines called logograms or short forms in Pittman's New Era. Words and phrases which have such forms are called gramologues. Hundreds exist and only a tiny number are shown above. The shapes are written separately to show that they represent distinct words, but in common phrases, you are, thank you, etc. Two or three logograms may be joined together, or a final flick added to represent the Topic. Consonants Topic. The consonants in Pittman's shorthand are pronounced b, p, d, t, j, sh, g, k, v, f, th, i, t, h, z, s, z, ish, m, l, n, r, r, ng, w, y, and h. When both an unvoiced consonant and its corresponding voiced consonant are present in this system, the distinction is made by drawing the stroke for the voiced consonant thicker than the one for the unvoiced consonant. Thus s is and z is, there are two strokes for r, r and re. The former assumes the form of the top right-hand quarter of a circle drawn top-down, whereas the latter is like she, only less steep drawn bottom to top. There are rules governing when to use each of these forms. Topic. Vowels Topic. The long vowels in Pittman's shorthand are e, i, o, and u. The short vowels are a and the long vowels may be remembered by the sentence pa, may we all go to p, me, y, l, o, two, and the short vowels may be remembered by the sentence that pen is not much good at pnz, mount d. A vowel is represented by a dot or a dash, which can be written either lightly or heavily depending on the vowel needed. As this gives only four symbols, they can be written in three different positions, either at the beginning, middle or end of a consonant stroke, to represent the twelve vowels. The dots and dashes representing long vowels are darker than the ones representing short vowels. For example, say is written as, quote closing parenthesis quote, but say, if it did exist, would be written as, Quote closing parenthesis quote. C is written as quote closing parenthesis dot quote. But sih if there were such a word would be written as quote closing parenthesis dot quote. Another feature of Pittman's shorthand allows most vowels to be omitted in order to speed up the process of writing. As mentioned above, each vowel is written next to the consonant stroke at the beginning, middle, or end of the stroke. Pittman. S shorthand is designed to be written on lined paper and when a word S first vowel is a first position vowel i.e. it is written at the beginning of the stroke, the whole shorthand outline for the word is written above the paper S ruled line. When it is a second position vowel, the outline is written on the line. And when it is a third position vowel it is written through the line. 
In this way, the position of the outline indicates that the first vowel can only be one of four possibilities. In most cases, this means that the first and often all the other vowels can be omitted entirely. Topic. Diphthongs Topic. I E O I 7 O W E W Display style IE, carrot, lore, Q quad oi, carrot, math frac, seven, Q quad ow, underscore, land, Q quad eu, underscore, cap. There are four diphthongs in Pittman's shorthand, representing, as in the words, I enjoy Gao's music. Quote, the first three appear as small checkmarks, the eu sound is written as a small arch. Both IE and oi are written in first position, while ow and eu are written in third position. In the same way, the whole outline is placed above, on or through the paper's ruled line. If the diphthong is followed by a neutral vowel, a little flick is added. Other shapes Circles The circles are of two sizes, small and large. Small circle represents S sing and Z gaze. Big circle represents SES and SWA. If the big circle comes initially in the stroke it represents SWA sweep but not sway. Elsewhere it represents SES. The vowel in the middle can be any of the vowel or diphthong crisis, crises and exercise. If the vowel is anything other than E then it must be represented inside the circle, loops. The loops are of two sizes, small and big. The small loop represents street and sd, cost and based pronounced sti loop. The big loop represents stir, master and masterpiece. Stir loop does not come in the beginning of a word, sterling, small hooks, at the start. For straight strokes P, B, T, D, Sh, J, K and G the hook comes in both the sides of the stroke. Hook in clockwise direction represents R. After the stroke tray, nichrome, bigger. Hook in counterclockwise direction represents L. After the stroke ply, amplify, angle. For curved strokes F, V, I, T, H, the, ish, Z, M, N, ing the hook is written in before the stroke is written and it represents R. After the stroke, other, measure, manner, every. At the end. For straight strokes P, B, T, D, Sh, J, K and G the hook comes in both the sides of the stroke. Hook in clockwise direction represents N. After the stroke, train, chin, genuine. Hook in counterclockwise direction represents F or V. After the stroke, pave, calf, toughen. For curved strokes f, v, i, t, h, the, ish, z, m, n, ing the hook is written in after the stroke is written and it represents in after the stroke men, thin. Shun hook the shun hook is written on the right hand side of a simple t, d or j. The big hook after any stroke represents shun, zun, etc. fusion, vision. For straight strokes with initial circle or loop or hook, the shun hook is written in opposite direction section. Depression and depletion have shun hooks in different directions. For simple straight strokes, the shun hook is written in the direction opposite to the occurrence of the vowel. Caution and auction have shun hooks in different directions. For curved strokes, the shun hook is written after the stroke, continuing the curve motion, notion, to represent the sound as shun as in cessation, decision, musician etc. You write a small circle and continue round to form a small hook. Other hooks Big hook for WH The big hook in the beginning of the stroke way represents WH Wine Hook before L The small hook before L represents Way Before it Well the big hook before L represents WH before it while. Topic. Having and doubling. Topic. Many strokes both straight and curved may be halved in length to denote a final T or D. 
The having principle may be combined with an initial or final hook or both to make words such as trained appear as a single short vertical light stroke with an initial and final hook. There are some exceptions to avoid ambiguous forms, a straight R stroke can t be halved if it s the only syllable, because that might be confused for some other short form logogram consisting of a short stroke mark in that direction and or should doubling of curved strokes if ter, der, ture, there, dher comes in the word the preceding stroke is written double the size matter, nature, mother. There are exceptions to avoid ambiguous forms, for example, leader is not written as a doubled L but as L plus a hooked D representing doctor, but e.g. later is a doubled L, doubling of straight strokes. The doubling principle has an exception when ter et al. is preceded by only a straight stroke. Doubling is not employed in that case cadre. If it has more than one stroke before ter et al. or has a hook at the end tender, or a joined diphthong pewter, then the doubling principle is employed. Topic. Cultural references Topic. The protagonist of David R. Palmer's novels Emergence and Tracking purportedly writes her journals in Pittman shorthand, declaring it the best, potentially fastest, most versatile of various pen systems. The Vogans in the 2005 movie version of The Hitchhiker S Guide to the Galaxy use a blockier form of Pittman 2000. Linguist Henry Sweet dubbed Pittman S shorthand Pitfall shorthand in his 1892 Manual of Current Shorthand. In the preface to his play Pygmalion, George Bernard Shaw cites Henry Sweet's Pitfall shorthand comment. Topic notes. Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Keyscript Shorthand, an alphabetical system based on Pittman's.